Good morning. Welcome to Biopharm America 2016 from Boston. I'm Joe Haas of Informa Pharma Intelligence. Uh, the conference has just gotten underway. Right behind us, our social media wall recently noted that we have about 900 attendees at this year's conference. Like we've done in past years, we're going to be bringing you interviews with some of the attendees. And I'm pleased to have with me at this time, Don Van Dyke, the Chief Operating Officer of Cloud Pharmaceuticals. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here, Joe. Thank you, Don. Um, so, Cloud Pharmaceuticals, I think the name kind of gives it away. This is, a pro this is using cloud computing in the, d the discovery and design of drugs. Is that correct? Tell me about it. That's exactly right. Yeah, so we uh, have some breakthrough technology in artificial intelligence uh, that utilizes cloud-based high-performance computing platforms uh, to do uh, novel AI search through molecular space to discover new small drugs. One of the things I found really interesting when I visited the Cloud Pharmaceuticals website was all the different targets your company works with. Um, familiar ones like Jack 1, 2, and 3, ones that were less familiar to me at least, and then in a lot of different therapeutic areas, cancer, inflammatory disease, diabetes, even viral disease. And I see you have one partnership listed there with a company that's working in both autism and cancer, and that seems like a an unusual combination. What well, can you tell us about that? Yeah, that, that's a really interesting uh, uh, project that we have. Um, and what it did was actually helped us build one of the key ch tools that we've created in, in silico uh, uh, computational chemistry. It's our blood brain barrier filter. Mm -hmm. So uh, the molecules that you want to uh, uh, that you want to act on the solid tumors, you don't want to penetrate the blood brain barrier. And the behavioral uh, indication, of course, has to penetrate the blood-brain barrier. Okay. Um, we were not familiar of a behavioral uh, component to that target uh, oh. either, but that was our, our partner's desire. And we actually delivered uh, molecules that, that do both of those things, penetrate and don't penetrate, and both hit that target. Um, so I assume here at this meeting, your, one of your goals is to meet with other potential partners and tell them the cloud story and what it is you can bring? Yeah, exactly. Um, we're doing a variety of things. Uh, we're meeting with, with partners that, uh, uh, that we can work on uh, targets together uh, and invent new chemical entities uh, together. Mm -hmm. uh, with them, we're looking at uh, service partners uh, because we're a highly virtualized company. Uh, we know what we're good at and we know where we need help uh, from, from partners. Yeah. Um, we're also in a fundraising round uh, okay. at this point, so I'm meeting with some, some investors also. Oh, well, okay. Well, good luck with both of those. Yeah. And uh, when you say highly virtual, how virtual? Um, we, uh, we do the computational stuff and we partner everything else out. I see. Okay, so when it goes to the bench, when it goes for synthesis and testing, when it goes for further development, we don't do those things in-house. We do those things with partners. Uh, tell me more definitively, what is it that your company brings specifically to, I assume, a, a clinical stage or even a commercial stage uh, biopharma company? Yeah, what we do is we allow the rapid development of new chemical entities uh, against their, uh, their pipeline for future development. So what we can do is compared with high throughput screening uh, or with other uh, traditional methods of uh, discovering new drugs is we can start with a target um, and analyze that target, um, build a virtual uh, chemical space library around that target of 70 to 100 million molecules, all of which should bind to that, mm. to that target. Use the AI search and then rapidly come up with a, a candidate uh, group of molecules for further development. And that process is very rapid. We do that in three months. Wow. And we do that at a fraction of the cost of uh, high throughput screening and a fraction of the time of any other traditional methods. Okay. So, so where is Cloud based and when was it founded? So we were based in uh, the Research Triangle Park of North Carolina. Wow, okay. And there's a good reason for that. The key core technology that we use in the artificial intelligence search through uh, virtual molecular space was developed at Duke University. Uh, and the key inventor of that technology is Shahar Keenan, and she is our chief scientific officer, and she's joined us and works with us full time. Okay. All right. So, um, so you have a background in bioinformatics, life science, data mining, um, several startups, including BioImage Corp. So, so how does your past experience feed into what Cloud is doing? 
Yeah, for some reason, for decades now, I've been at the intersection of computational science and, and biological sciences uh -huh. in different areas. So bioimage was uh, quantitative image analysis, was a successful company. Uh, also worked in uh, a data mining company uh, called Molecular Mining Corporation. And we did some really neat stuff in artificial intelligence and supervised learning, except uh -huh. in, in gene expression space. Wow. So learning the neural nets, learning all the strategies for artificial intelligence was was uh, a real benefit for uh, being with uh, molecular mining. Um, and bioinformatics, I guess everybody has bioinformatics at some point uh, okay. in, in their career. But I guess the thing that distinguishes uh, cloud pharmaceuticals and makes me so excited about cloud is that um, the market size for cloud pharmaceuticals uh, as a business is enormously more attractive than the market sizes that we had in those other businesses, even though they were good businesses with good, with good outputs. <clears throat> and the impact that we can have on human health uh, and, and human suffering is uh, much greater than those other ones, which is how I'm excited right now at this part of my career to be doing this. Okay, so uh, privately held venture backed? We are privately held. Uh, we've had small investors so far. We've actually uh, been self-sustaining uh, for periods of time. Wow. And uh, we're seeking a round of financing now to further our R&D and our uh, expansion of our platform. Okay. Well, good luck with that, Don. Thank you for being our guest. We'll be back from Biopharm America this week with other interviews. Thanks for joining us.